All right, how's it going, awesome people? From Facebook, this is Jose Trujillo. I'm trying to figure out this mic thing. Uh, and wife. Hello, Facebook land. And what 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 was I talking to you about right now again? Well, we were talking about how I guess I should wave. Hi, everyone. Um. We were talking about how you had, well, you contra contracted someone to help add like graphics and fun stuff to some of the articles you've written regarding like your experience as an artist and the things that you feel are most important to oh, creating yeah. a career, right? Totally, yeah. An artist's career. And what happened? Well, I. You already had it written. I already had it written. It was it was really one of those articles that I like to do for for uh, for uh, for my website, and and this article was something that I was going to. I'm I'm, I'm still working on it. I was going to give it away as a uh, as a thank you, you know, for following my stuff. And it was a very cool article. It is a very cool article. It talks about the importance of action, uh, action, and how uh, why do artists lose uh, inspiration, and why why um, why we have artist blocks, right? The, the the famous artist block. So, anyways, I read this article. I was in the middle of the night. I'm like, ah. Some people have asked me, "Do you even sleep?" Yes, I do, but I try to do more than I sleep. Because <laughs> there's more hours during your waking time. So, I was writing this article and I was very proud of it because I, I care about one thing. When I, when I do these videos, you'll notice I don't have this great lighting. Let me open it a little bit more. You can see. I don't have this great um, mic, you know. Most people care about that and it's very important and I think it's very important. Yeah, it is. But... To me, what's more important is it's, it's the meat. It's the meat. What is this thing about? How is it going to help someone? As opposed to, I have great lighting, and I have a great mic, and everything's sounding perfect. And the message sucks, right? So, the message here is, is how important is it, right, to, to understand action and this and that in the article. I'm talking about the article, right? So... So I created these five steps to kind of like guidelines, right, to follow that I do, that have helped me, and that I've told other artists, and I've seen how it helped them, and I was like, man, i got to share this with other people, because obviously they're going to benefit from it. So I get very happy, so I go to uh, Fiverr, Fiverr.com, right, which, I, you know, everybody talks about how great it is and whatnot, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go check them out. You understand, and there was like a whole hour of... This morning, where he just talked to me about how excited he was <laughs> yeah. to see the graphics on this article that he had written. Well, because I wanted to, uh, again, because I care about the meat of, uh, of the content, I always put content out, like articles, videos like this, that don't have graphics and that I'm not, you know, I don't care about that stuff. Maybe it'll come later, maybe to make it nicer and prettier and whatnot, but... I don't really care. It's like painting. I care about the substance of the artwork, not necessarily, did I mix that color correctly? Or or is that frame perfect? That is part of it, but it comes after, right? So I, I care about the meat of the content. I know I'm hammering this, but this is what's most important to me. So, uh, so I was so excited about sharing this article and whatnot. And... So I get it back, right, from the from the from the writer, and it's it's well written. It's it's you know it's very eloquent, very well written. Like, like this person rewrites the article, and, but they add they add more information on it, and I'm like, why why is there more info? So I had already written this. I just kind of wanted it to be a little buffered and put some some, maybe some graphics or something that it looks you know not graphics but like make it more. Appealing, you know, to, to the eye, more 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 pleasing, right? Uh, maybe some some modern colors, you know, gray and blah blah. But to make a long story short, yeah, <laughs> I am going very long. She completely changed the message. Yes. 
And so we started talking about the importance of message and what does that mean? And the importance right. for clients. When you talk to a client, how are you communicating your message? And so here was a clear miscommunication. She thought, she, when she sent it, she was so excited to say, look what I did for you and all right. this stuff. But completely in her voice, in her tone. And so now she might not get a client back because she didn't, she missed the message and missed conveying what it was that right. you wanted and you needed. She added what, what her experience as an artist is, but I wasn't interested in that because I had already gone through those experiences and I, I didn't need more adding to it. What I needed was to stay true to the message. But it was a reminder for us to always pay attention to our clients and right. their needs, or fans and their needs, and what it is that people want Absolutely. to hear from us. And so we just want to take this moment to make this video and tell you, share with us what are the most important things that you want to know about and learn about and hear about from an artist's perspective. And we'll give you our spin on it, and we want to hear your spin on it as well, because you are having your experience. But it was a great lesson learned. She completely missed the point of what he had written and she wrote a brand new, instead of a, a five point article, it's now eight points. It's eight telling points. Telling you and to be patient and wait around for inspiration. When those of you who have listened to Jose know that he says you never wait for inspiration, you make inspiration happen. Absolutely. And so you're talking about a completely different The message got turned turn around and, I, and, and we were thinking about that and we said, you know, how many times do we do that to our clients? How many times do we do that to our collectors where a collector may ask me, you know, this is really what I love about your painting. And they might say, it's this color, you know, it, it, this, this is the color that I love about your painting. And I, I miss that, you know, or this is the brushwork. Uh, that I love so much, and then I end up doing a palette knife painting for them, or, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm just giving examples. If you're doing that, don't do that. Pay attention to what it is that your customers, your clients, or your, you know, I mean, for that, for that matter, you might not have customers or clients or whatever, you know, maybe you don't paint for, her. maybe you don't do that, you don't create commissions or whatever, uh, but, but relationships, you know, like just listening to what the other person wants. I think it's, it's very important and I, I got burned. Ah! <laughs> so, share with us, so share with us what your experiences have been. How has, what has been your experience when somebody completely misses what you're trying to say or trying to communicate? And how do you work through it or how do you make it better? We'd yeah. love to hear from you. Let us know. All right, guys, thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.